Okay, so this is Beyblade Burst. So this is the main character. I'm not familiar with Beyblade Burst at all, but then again, I said that about Metal Masters. It is what it is. I've already explained previously why. So um, anyway, Beyblade Burst. This is why I think the most recent Beyblade actually as well. So this game is developed and published by Furyu. I'm, I am familiar with Furyu for uh, for a little bit. They've done a lot of games. Um, I think they, the Doraman game I did um, as part of 3DS Randoms recently um, was developed by um, Furyu. So there you go. So they do get around. They do a lot of anime games from what I can see. There's a lot of 3DS anime games I had a look at. And said, uh, a couple of them were developed by Furyu. So... Um, but yeah, so uh, it was, and this game was released in November 2016. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. See what different, how different it is in comparison. But it was only released in Japan, so we'll just have to kind of see how we get on. Hopefully, it won't be too confusing navigating the menus. But as always, if I need to show the bottom of the screen, I'll just flash it up like so. There you go. So let's uh, jump into it. Oh, we've got two options. Uh, that option. So, I don't know how it's going to... Fr oh, fantastic. So... Interesting. So, we don't don't have a battle mode we can go immediately into. The game's just like straight into the fucking story mode. And by the way, in case you're wondering, it gave me like two options, and that's it, just two options um, to pick. So I picked the first option, and it obviously has thrown me into the story mode, now it's asking me for a name. There you go. It's given me like multiple options as well, but again, they're all in Japanese, I'm not going to understand what which one's which, so I'm just... So I think we're doing a... Hopefully we're going to be thrown into a Beyblade battle soon. I don't want to have to keep skipping through all this dialogue. I've told you, like, as, as we get further in the Beyblade lore, it just seems like the Beyblade's turning into more Yu-Gi-Oh looking characters. Like, the hairstyles are pretty out there. At least that's how it feels. Like, you look at the hairstyles here and compare it to something like, I don't know, Digimon or something, or Pokemon, it's just quite out there. And I know you're probably going to go, oh, but that kid with the brown hair, well, you seem pretty standard. All right, I'm going to give you a little bit of an idea of what's happening on the bottom screen. So it's giving me, like, multiple choices to pick, and you just keep clicking the A button to get through and keep going. And then eventually it presents itself another, oh, there we go, another option like that. And I don't know what, what I don't know what's what, so I'm just going to keep pressing to skip through it. So again, I don't know. All right. Okay. So it looks like we're going into something here. Maybe we're building a Beyblade. Okay. So there's a Beyblade. Yeah, the 3D model doesn't look too bad. So it's okay. So it's telling us that we can pick one of four Beyblades to play with. So this one seems to be the one that's the most average in terms of stats. I don't know what stat is which, but so apparently. But it has a little message over this one, like I'll show you. So there's that one's got a little flashing message over it. So maybe I'm supposed to pick that one, but I want I want this one. Yeah, I want that one. I want the B model, the one that's got like average stats among across the board. I think would be better. But I don't know, maybe it was saying buy the blue one, because the blue one is like a special one or something. I don't know. Alright, so now it looks like we're going into a battle. I think we are playing... Yeah, that's his Beyblade, I thought so. I think we are playing as the brown-haired kid, who's just like a made-up kid for the game. And we're going against uh, going against the main character. The bottom screen's got a nice spinning, now-loading Beyblade. It looks... Yeah, the Beyblade model looks decent, I think. It looks fine. Now, the curious thing is, is what's, what screen is going to have, the battle's going to be on? Okay, so we're now going into a battle. Okay, cool. 
I don't know how this is going to work exactly. This is going to be... Alright, it's going to explain how to fucking play. So we pick where our Beyblade goes? Does it really matter? I pick here. And now we get to pick like how fast it is? I don't know. That's good enough, I guess. And now again, we've got another meter. See, but I prefer this. I prefer the timing meters than it is with like, and it's quite obvious where you're supposed to get the timing. Like, that was fine. And now... And boom! Wow, that was a very quick Beyblade battle. I just completely destroyed him in all of two seconds. I guess because the timing was okay. And now we're going to battle two. Alright, so I'm going to pick over here. And that, was, and that was fine. Another powerful Beyblade turn. But once again, this is another Beyblade game where it's kind of... I think it's kind of luck. And there we go. But once again, it is literally another Beyblade game where you have no control and it kind of just spins around. But... You don't have no control. You do. You have some little bit of control in how powerful... So it's all down to the timings, right? It's all down to the timings of the meters. But once that's happened, you, that's it. You know, boom. Yeah, once that happens... And there we go, we win. So that's what... Yeah, again, like I said, that's what it seems to be to me. So, even though you don't have control of the Beyblade once it leaves its thing, which is more natural in my opinion anyway, because that's what it's like in real life, you just have control over how m much you yank it. <laughs> how much you yank it, that sounds wrong. <laughs> you have control over the meter, you have the meters, and the meters make sense, look at it, the game's in Japanese and yet I knew exactly what I needed to do, something that the fucking bowling DX game couldn't fucking manage to do. I'm just, uh, I'm just saying. Like, this game was able to effectively just automatically show me where I needed to make sure the little line was going to go. Much, much better. So I actually already like this. This is fine. This is probably out of the ones i played th thus far. I know Metal Masters allowed you to have more control over the Beyblade. That's cool. That's fine. But I, I like this game. I like the mechanics. It feels more like of how Beyblade would Beyblade would actually be in real life in a video, but put into a video game. So I've got no issue with this. This is absolutely fine. Let's see if we can get one more battle in. Hopefully, the Bancho kid wants to fight the blonde Bancho kid. Battle shows, eh? You know what that means. We're fighting Bancho Boy. Don't know who this is. If you're wondering why I call him Bancho Boy, is it's that typical, like, school uniform, but the jacket's off and it's used as kind of a cape. I don't fucking know. He's got a stick in his mouth. He's got a fucking the certain hairstyle. He's Kenka Bancho as fuck. You know what I mean? So I call him. I call him. Like, he's the Bancho Boy. Perfect example of this is Metal Bat from One Punch Man. He's a Bancho boy as well. Just that style in that. I think they have a certain name for it in Japan, but I don't want to know what that is. I just refer to them as Bancho boys. Don't get me wrong. You get Bancho girls as well. There's a perfect, a perfect example of a Bancho girl in the Sen Senran Kagura ser series. Doki Koji or whatever. There's a girl called that. All right, so I'm going to pick my... My thing's going to go over here. We're going. Ready for the spin? We have the spin. Right in the middle. This is like hyper mode. 
Oh, now we're actually getting it. Okay, so w it looks like we're getting like. By the way, it looks like there's a at there's attacks in the game as well. Okay, the game just keeps getting um, automatically better. So what does this do then? Oh, it activates a special. And there we go. We beat him. Once again. I'm more I'm in I'm liking this game quite a bit, and it sucks that this game was a Japanese exclusive, mainly because I think Burst is just not really represented outside. I don't think they actually released this series in English. It's really too bad. This this game seems to be the best Beyblade game I've seen thus far, and that's even ba um, going off of what I've seen previously um, with older Beyblade games. Oh, he almost... Oh, he knocked me off. So in all fairness, he won that one. But I got three points. So I I got three points first. So I win. First of three points. So yeah, no. I think we'll stop there. Um, no, this is a much better Beyblade game. I like this. This is probably the best Beyblade game I've played out of all the Beyblade games I've played. And that includes, like, Let It Rip for the PlayStation, the GameCube game, and a few others. And obviously, everyone, every Beyblade game I've played thus far. So, this makes me this makes me look forward to the final Beyblade game I'm going to look at. Which, uh, um, I'm not going to spoil it. I know we're going to be looking at Go... You're going to get it told what it is right after I finish talking. But still... I want to keep that suspense going a little bit longer. So, and I actually own the uh, the next Beyblade video game in real life. I picked it up in Taiwan. Maybe I'll show some pictures or something. But um, but yeah, so we got one more Beyblade game to look at, and then um, we'll call it there.